25 facts about the Blood Angels. Number one, the oldest living loyalist space marine is Dante, chapter master of the Blood Angels. He's been alive for approximately 1,547 Terran years. Number two, the Blood Angels Primarch Sanguinius was known as the most loyal of all the Primarchs. Horus, despite being extremely close to Sanguinius, plotted to kill him because he knew that Sanguinius would never turn to chaos. Number three, the Blood Angels were coined the name Eaters of the Dead because they were known to eat the dead corpses of their enemies after battle. Number four, the Blood Angels' red thirst is not because they need to drink blood for nutritional value. Something in their gene seed gives them anti-aging properties and hyper-focus after they consume blood. Number five, Dante, the chapter master of the Blood Angels, refused to drink blood and felt the effects of aging. It wasn't until Baal was attacked by the Tyranids that Dante realized his old age. He needed the boost from drinking blood to lead his army to victory. Number six, Karish is the mixture of wine and blood that Blood Angels drink regularly if they do not have access to prisoners or enemies on the battlefield. The blood for these mixtures are typically supplied by their chapter serfs. Number seven, Blood Angels have a taste for the fine arts as they use painting and art to quell the red thirst and black rage within them. Number eight, the black rage is incurable. It's a genetic flaw that overcomes the Blood Angel and drives him mad. It's the experiences of Sanguinius' own rage in life. Even when the final remains of a fallen Blood Angel are combined with the Dreadnought, the Dreadnought has black rage. Number nine, Sanguinius, the Blood Angel's Primarch, got his first taste of the quote-unquote black rage when he was one standard year old while killing a band of mutants in the desert of Baal. Number 10, the Blood Angels took in a massive amount of primary space marines to replenish their loss in soldiers after their epic battle with the Leviathan and Tyranid Onslaught. Before we continue to the next 15 facts, if you're a Warhammer 40,000 and 40K, you may be interested in downloading our free Warhammer 40K guide. This guide shows how to get cheaper miniatures, paint your miniatures faster and still have them looking good, and design an army that will be fun to play but hard for your opponents to wipe off the battlefield. Download the guide by clicking the link in the description below. Number 11, recruits for the Blood Angels must undergo a harsh process to absorb the gene seed of Sanguinius that requires them to stay in a coma for one full Terran year while intravenously receiving nutrients and the blood of their Primarch. Number 12, the Sons of Sanguinius, a Blood Angel successor chapter, prefers to utilize bikes and jump packs over heavy weaponry and psychers. They believe all forms of psychic powers to be chaos and will kill anyone among themselves for using them. Number 13, Blood Angels do not have apothecaries. Instead, they have sanguinary priests that specialize in the sanguineous gene seed and keep their brothers from falling into the black rage. Number 14, Sanguinius was revered by many to be the greatest general among the Primarchs. He once bested a craft world army with only a third of his legion. Number 15, in order to avoid the extermination of the Blood Angels from the Imperial Records, Sanguinius did everything he could to hide the secret of his genome weakness and need for blood and fierce rage. In the post Horus Heresy era, the Red Thirst is an open secret that is accepted. If you're enjoying this video and want more facts and lore for Warhammer 40k, then make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We release weekly content for lore and facts about the Warhammer 40k universe. Also, you can leave a comment down below and make a suggestion for more facts that you'd like to learn about or us to cover in Warhammer 40k. Number 16, victims of the Black Rage are often killed or locked away in the Tower of Amarero. This is named after an ancient chapter master of the Blood Angels. Number 17, many consider Mephiston, chief librarian of the Blood Angels, to be the most powerful psyker alive. After the Emperor of Mankind, of course. Number 18, if you were to visit Angel's Fall, the primary settlement based on one of the moons of Baal, you would see a great statue of Sanguinius looking down at fresh recruits battling for a chance to join the ranks of the Blood Angels. Number 19, despite the Blood Angels' amazing skills and abilities they carry into battle with their controlled bloodlust, without their Primarch to guide them, the Legion is dwindling as more of them succumb to the Black Rage. Number 20, the Blood Angels' Chapter Master Dante believes he is the prophesied Golden Warrior, destined to stand between the Emperor and Death. It is this belief that keeps Dante alive, as he grows more and more weary of the life he's lived. Number 21, the elite first company of the Blood Angels are known as the Archangels. They are primarily built around hard-hitting Thunderhammer-wielding Terminator squads. Number 22, 
The founder of the Sanguinary Guard, as Kalian, was so loyal to the Primarch Sanguinius, he stated that he would sacrifice the lives of all his men to protect him. It was extremely difficult for him when Sanguinius ordered him to remain on Terra and not accompany him to his destined final battle with Horus. Number 23. It is only the Blood Angel's Sanguinary Guard that wear the Angel Wing jump packs designed to honor the wings of their Primarch Sanguinius. Number 24. Mephiston's name is believed to be inspired by Mephistopheles, a demonic villain of German folklore story, a demonic villain of the German folklore story, Dr. Faustus. Number 25. When looking at the Games Workshop miniature of Sanguinius, you may notice he looks very similar to a famous painting of St. Michael the Archangel defeating Satan. Some believe he is the grim dark allegory to the angelic general. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of Warhammer 40,000 and 40K, you may be interested in downloading our free Warhammer 40K guide. This guide shows how to get cheaper miniatures, paint faster models that still look good, and design an army that will be fun to play but hard for your opponent to wipe off the battlefield. Download the guide by clicking the link in the description below.